Hi there everybody, it's Rarity here from inkabutterfly.com Thank you for joining me today for another card making video and today we are going to be using the Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set new one in the uh, mini catalogue that came out in September so uh, another lovely set for you know the winter uh, coming up so uh, there's no actual Christmas greetings on here it's just snowflakes and some really nice uh, like I say, non-Christmas themed sentiments and, in, and a little for you too, which is kind of cute. So um, perfect for um, whether you want, if you um, want to give um, something to uh, family, friends and etc. who don't celebrate Christmas, uh, but want to um, obviously um, share the seasonal cheer. So there we go. Sparkling snowflakes, very, very uh, nice sort of classic sort of stamp set. The lovely scripty font. Uh, the set does come with um, a, a, as a bundle and that will also include uh, this um, snowflake tag topper punch. Okay so you'll uh, see this used I'm sure closer to the time but uh, there we go that's uh, the bundle there and just grab the catalogue for you. Um, so this is uh, the mini catalogue that we're uh, showcasing products from today. So here it is. I just wanted to check whether, whether there was a switch with this, but um, there isn't. It is just a standalone um, bundle. Let me just double check the other page. Sometimes it goes over the... Oh, no. Nope. Oh, hang on. So, so it's not part of this suite. Um, but uh, what I would um, point out is we've got this really gorgeous ribbon which is part of this suite uh, which I've used today which has got this silver trim on it so it's silver and white sheer ribbon which is really 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 lovely um, and then there is some really lovely designer series paper as well so if you like um, using a designer series paper so I should probably say this is specialty paper because it's got the falling on and everything um, that goes nicely with it too but um, I'd say it is a bundle um, that I'm using today it's, the, uh, it's part of a bundle with the sparkling snowflakes so there we go let's pop that to one side the colours on this card um, I would say are a little less traditional as I went with the sort of green blues so I went with Pool Party, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock um, for this one. So it's still got that sort of cool, icy kind of feel to it. Um, but with those, um, those more greeny sort of colours. So what I'm going to do today is um, spin that up and use something a bit more traditional. And we're going to go with Balmy Blue, Tahitian Tide and Starry Sky. Okay, so we've already got a couple of card bases here uh, ready to go, so we'll just um, make sure that they're all creased and ready to go. So I'm making a couple at a time. I'm going to need loads of cards at the um, when it gets closer to, to Christmas time, so I'm going to double up today because it's going to be really nice and easy to make these cards. Uh, so white card bases here, and then I've already... I do um, pre-cut layers, so I'll sit and I'll, I'll cut a whole bunch of cardstock and uh, and everything. So this one is um, it's three and three quarters by five and a half, which gives you that slightly bigger border. So we're going to do that, and then I've got a scrap of basic white here to stamp our larger snowflakes. So we're going to need to use the um, Playlist colour in our trio for that, which is Barmy Blue. I'm just going to move those in pads because I'm going to be using the wrong ones. Barmy Blue. So we're going to be using, um, we're going to be making two cards. So I'm going to um, pop that on there. Hopefully I've left enough room for the uh, punch around there. And then... Before we punch it out, we're going to use the Starry Sky, our darkest colour, just to pop that lovely Let It Snow sentiment over the top. 
Now mix it up, do, do something different if you want. Okay, so that's really nice and super subtle at the top of there. It's really cute. And we're going to be using the 2 and 3 8 punch um, to uh, cut those out. So that fits really nicely in there with a bit of a border around it. The 2 inch punch is a little bit on the tight side for this large snowflake. So if I just compare that for you, it just fits. Um, if you wanted something a little, little smaller. But like I say, I wanted to have a bit of a border around it, so I've gone with two and three eighths. This is the one that coordinates with circle sayings. Okay, so that's our um, little toppers here. So those are going to go on eventually with some dimensional. So we'll just pop um, some of those on, ready to go. And I find that with circles, three is a, a good number. Just to sort of spread across the back there. A little triangle. So that's our little toppers for the, the front. And then for the um, backgrounds, I'm going to bring in some scrap paper. As you can see, I've already used it for the, for the other ones. I can do both at the same time because I kind of wanted to try and show you a little bit of, sort of you know, you can use sort of batch make some of these. So we're going back to that light colour and the balmy blue, and we're going to use the solid image. So the, the snowflakes kind of have a solid and a detailed image, so you can kind of overlay these if you want to um, with the, the uh, more detailed image okay not necessarily going for them to be not aiming for them to be identical but um, kind of similar layout then we're going to move to our mid color which is going to be this lovely bright Tahitian toad okay so this is only going to sort of poke out from behind our um, other elements so we're just going to pop him in and we're going to use first and second generation ink just to add some different sort of shades in there okay and then we're going to go back to starry sky our darkest color starry sky and use the smaller detailed one just to add in some interest at the sides there. So that's all we're doing and of course the circle's going to go in the middle. Okay, so that's dead easy. You could um, fill it up more if you wanted to, uh, but I want to leave some white space. So let's get those popped onto our card bases. So we're just going to use some seal, just sticking this down flat. Oops. And our card bases are just here, put, put to one side from last time. You just pop those together like so, all really nice and dead easy, so we can, you know, scale this up and make a number of cards all at the same time. We've just done a whole batch of miniature wins for a team event. So before we pop our toppers on, we're going to add some ribbon. So on this one, we use this sort of silver and white sheer ribbon. But 
um, for this one I'm going to pick out this beautiful iridescent uh, ribbon so it's got that sort of purple and blue sort of tones to it so I'm going to whack some seal across the middle here to secure this in the centre and then that'll be covered by the topper obviously and we're going to pop this across and leap it backwards and forwards to create this lovely sort of texture and interest on the card. i get my sharper scissors for that I use for a ribbon. Okay. Which, so obviously that looks terrible until you put it all together. I think um, this would also look good in purples and pinks and you know non-traditional colours. So you know if you've got, like I say, sending someone something over that season, but you also want to brighten their day. Use some alternative colours as well. Okay, so that's our ribbon in place and. Just so that um, we're sure that these all stick down and to help keep the ribbon secure, I'm going to put some uh, multi-purpose glue over the top of these dimensionals. Um, so I'm just going to pop a blob of that over the top. Those of you who watch regularly see me do this. All the time. I know it seems like we're doubling up, but uh, we're getting, we're using the features of both of those adhesives to our advantage for our projects. Like so. I wouldn't even be too concerned about how that snowflake is lying or whether the sentiment's that straight because the scripty font and the design sort of mean that you can kind of get away with it being not straight and then to finish that off on the um, original I've used the basic rhinestones to bring in that silver and then for this one just to mirror those iridescent uh, ribbons I'm going to use the iridescent pearls do my little trio of embellishments there And that's it. It's really simple to make and scale up if you want to make several. There are sort of, you know, fundraisers or something like that you want to do. And Christmas fairs and that kind of thing. Um, they, these would be really, really great projects. So there's our sort of traditional icy blue and less traditional kind of frosty greens. Okay, so really, really easy and simple to make. Hope you like them and I hope you give them a go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Obviously all the um, uh, products I've used are going to be linked in the um, video description. So check them out, have a closer look uh, online. Okay, that's it from me today. Hope you're staying safe, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.